welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome um in this video i am going to be showing you guys what's in my toiletry bag and in my makeup bag so i am super super excited i've been wanting to do a video like this for such a long time but i'm actually able to do it this time because i am going to indiana this weekend for a friend's wedding so luckily i am able to do this video um i am not flying because the world is a little too crazy right now to fly me and vito are going to be driving up it is a 11 hour drive so it's not too bad because we normally drive to new york which is like 17 hours even more than that sometimes but um yeah, so 11 hours is not a big deal for us, and we love road tripping anyways, so it's gonna be so much fun. So anyways, let's get into this video. Side note, if you hear any background noises, I am so sorry. I am a caregiver to my special needs sister-in-law, so <laughs> she just likes to make random noises at random times, and she's watching a Disney movie, so sometimes she laughs and giggles from the movie. So don't freak out, it's just her. Okay, let's get this video started. So I'm gonna start off with what's in my toiletry bag. So this bag I bought at Walmart, maybe like last year, I'm not sure if they still have it, but I love it because it has so many compartments. And when you open it, it looks like this. And I absolutely love this bag. I use it for Fort Wilderness when we go to Fort Wilderness just because we use the showers because our camper, at the time our camper shower wasn't working properly, but now we have a new camper, so it's gonna be so nice to actually shower in our camper. But uh, this is my toiletry bag. So let's go from the zipper. So here I have my jewelries, like my silicone wedding band, some earrings, and a necklace. And I have cotton um, pads for my skincare and here I got my glasses my contact clays and then here I have a hairband it's just so when I wash my face hair doesn't get in the water and stuff because my hair is not naturally straight it is naturally curly and for this weekend I want to keep it straight so that's why I have that and in these pockets I have this little mirror it's kind of dirty but whatever some scrunchies and a tweezer and then now the stuff that's in here i'm just gonna go take them out one by one so i got my face wash and what i love about this bottle is that it can lock so nothing comes out and then i have oops, Vito's deodorant and my deodorant because i had space in my bag might as well use it and then I have some Vaseline because if I shave my legs, I like to use Vaseline afterwards because Vaseline helps with ingrown hairs and irritation. Then I got my contacts, my contact solution. And then I got in this bag here all my skincare, like my sunscreen, my moisturizer, my serums, and all that. <laughs> that in there and then I have there's a velcro baggie in here that I have my razor in then I have my shaving cream perfume dry conditioner and my Virginia Beak oil and then I have my body wash this bag originally came with this and these containers for your shampoo and conditioner but i actually put body wash in them because i have a massive body wash um thing so i didn't want to bring that so i put them in there i will not be bringing shampoo and conditioner with me because it's just the weekend and i want to keep my hair straight because if i wash my hair it gets curly and it takes me forever to style my curly hair and i rather have it straight and it only takes me like five minutes to style my hair so i am going to tell Vito to buy some small shampoo and conditioners for him because he's gonna need it for the trip. But other than that, I don't need it. And that's. And then on the side of my toiletry bag, I have my hairbrush. So yeah, that's basically what's in my toiletry bag. And now 
I'm gonna show you guys what's in my makeup bag and show you what makeup I use. So this makeup bag, I think again, I bought at Walmart a long time ago. You can kind of tell it's very dirty and gross, but I've tried to clean it off and it's just, it's permanently stained. So when you open the first zipper, it has a place to put your makeup brushes and like this compartment here where I put like my um, sponges, my um, eyelash curlers. But yeah, here's the makeup brushes. And then in my other compartment is my actual makeup. So I'm going to show you guys what I bring with me. So first, I'm just going to pick whatever's on top. So first is the my falsies. I got these at TJ Maxx. I love buying my falsies at TJ Maxx because they're extremely cheap. And I love these. These are so... I saw these and I like, oh, these are really cute. I don't know if you can see it because the glare. But um, they're super long. And I'm excited to try these. I see falsies in mascara. But, um, and then I have... Another pair of falsies. I've used these before. I love, 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 love these. These are my favorite. Um, I'm not sure where I got these. I want to say TJ Maxx too, but they could be Sally Beauty. I'm not 100% sure. And then I have my all... <laughs> All-nighter um, setting spray. I absolutely love this spray. Honestly, I've owned this spray for so long because it takes, it's, you don't need so much on your face. So these things last such a long time. And then I have my setting powder from Jeffree Star. I love this setting powder. I only had it for a week and I'm obsessed with it. And then I have my Too Faced um, eye primer. I've had this primer for quite a while, to be honest. I don't even know if they still sell this. I'm not even sure. But I have this for my eyeshadow primer. Then I have my Kylie uh, lipstick. I'm actually wearing this color right now. So if you want to know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. This one is uh, Candy K. So just if you want to know. And then I have my bronzer. This is the Becca Company. And then I have my eyebrow pencil. This is from Anastasia or Anastasia. And I love, love using this pen. Oops. I've been using this, not this specific one, but this brand for my eyebrows for years. I probably since high school which is crazy. All right, and now I have my Fenty primer. I don't know how I feel about this because I don't know if it is really working. <laughs> to be honest, I just put it on my face. And then I also have a my Fenty concealer, not concealer, um, foundation. And this is the shade 210. Um, Again, I'm not really sure if I like it yet. I've been using this brand for a while. And I just feel like it, I don't know. I'm just not in love with it. And I kind of want to shop for more. But I have to finish this bottle. Because I'm not going to waste money. And then I have my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I just bought this yesterday. And I think that I got a very light color. And, I don't know, this is, I used it for the first time today, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I've heard, like, amazing things on this, so I'm gonna give it a try. But I did bring my, my, um, my concealer that I've been using for a while now, which is Fenty Beauty. And then now I have this eyeshadow palette, which are colors that I use, it's like rose gold and nudes. I'm not into like the dramatic colors. Honestly, I'm not good at using dramatic colors. I did buy a lot of makeup palettes, eyeshadow palettes with dramatic colors. Like I have uh, a Jeffree Star coming in 
and then my sister has a another Jeffree Star palette that she bought for me that I have to go pick up. So I am going to start experimenting with brighter colors. So wish me luck. But anyways, and then I got some eyelash glue. I love the the this one's almost empty, but I love the fact that this has kind of like a little brush on it. I don't know if you can see it. A lot of them have like that squeeze bottle. And I hate those. I feel like I put way too much glue on my eyelet lash when I use those. And then now I have my Marc Jacob mascara. Um, I was using for a while the mascara Better Than Sex. But when I went to Sephora, the lady goes, it's so funny. She goes, are you using Better Than Sex? And I go, yeah. And she goes, I know something that's so much better and you should give it a try. I'm like, sure. So this is my Marc Jacobs mascara. Um, just trying to see if there's like a special name for it. If there is, I can't read it. <laughs> it is so tiny. But anyways, I absolutely love it. And then I have my blush from Nair. And it is Amor. It's a really pretty, pretty pink. Hi, camera. It is a pretty pink. And then I have some more lipsticks colors in case I can't decide which lipsticks I want to use. Um, I have my Jeffree Star one that is Unicorn Blood. Um, another Jeff. These all three of these are Jeffree Star. Just to let you know, this one's Unicorn Blood. This one is Are We Filming? It is. This was a part of the Shane Dotson collection. I didn't know when I bought it, but whatever. Um, and then I have Wifey. I have that. And then I have my Kat Von D. I Liner. I am so bad at eyeliner, but when I use falsies, I like to put eyeliner on. But even though I'm really bad at it. And then I got my um, eyebrow gel. So it stays in place. I don't know. I've had this for so long. And now the last one I have in my bag is my highlighter from Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love, 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 love this highlighter. Um, it is metal moon and it's super super shiny I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it I love it absolutely love it but um yeah that's everything in my makeup bag so now I gotta put everything back yay but anyways uh that is it so thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe bye Thank you.